Sunday, everybody. Thank you for tuning in with us on the fourth OG show. I go by the name of a and I got my man, Mr. Beating Down Your Block, Ski Boogie in the building. How you feeling tonight, yes, brother? Sir, man. You already know I'm feeling good, man. Real hype, man. Hype, you know, got the mix a little something last night, you know, man. Oh, hey, man. Hey, 97.5, you heard? And the radio station this weekend was on fire. Starting from Friday, I'm going to say Friday evening. You heard, like, man, yo, we was rocking. No doubt, man, yes. no doubt. And that's, you know, Live 97.5, that's what we do at Live 97.5, right? You already know. Yes, sir. From the DJs to the hosts to, to the guests, whoever, yo, it's 97.5, man. man. Come on, man. Now. And, and, and shout out to Donnie, yo, man. Yes, and sir. my man John, they put on an excellent show every single week, man. LP Marcy was on the show this week, so shout out to him. But uh, let's talk about what we got going on this week, Ski. You already know, man. You already know. Hey, check it. First off, we got my man C. Mizzle, a.k.a. Yo, yo, C. Yo, Mac yo, in the yo, building. Yo, yeah. I'm in the building, man. How yeah. you feeling, Mizzle? I'm feeling good, man. That's what's up. I feel, feel It's my first time in the building, so, you know what I mean? This is a dope a dope experience. No doubt, no doubt. And we're gonna we're gonna get some to some new music yeah, from you this week. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk talk some uh definitely some hot topics this week. Um I know we got Rock and Stock. Yep. We're gonna talk about the calls for us. And you we're gonna talk about a little bit something different this week. We're gonna talk about some Kobe's and some Paul George's, you know, keep keep it different, not just Jays all the time. We're gonna we're gonna keep it on everything. So um we also got beaten down your block. You already know, beating on your block port. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit of Kendrick. Uh, hey. Some about a uh, little, little Uzi, you know. Hey. He's we taking got, the spotlight like this week. About. Yeah, you know no doubt, I mean? man. It's crazy. It's crazy for sure. But um, let's get to this first track, man. Uh, C Max. Uh, as a matter of fact, C, I'll let you uh, introduce this track. Yeah, this next record that we're about to play, um, it's a new record that I got. Well, actually, it's a record with my brother, Free Dollars. You know what I mean? Shout out to Free Dollars. Shout out to the whole fam. Um, it's a new record that we got called Bank Roll, produced by my brother uh, Daredevil. You know what I mean? And thought I'd bring it up here and hit y'all with the heat first before, you know what I mean, we give it to the streets. That's what it is, man. We're going to get right to it. All right, y'all, without further ado, C Mizzle, Bank Roll, let's go. Live 97.5. Is that my phone? He was just low when it came in. That's it's all. the instrumental too. I gotta turn that down a little bit. Okay. Never trust my whereabouts. you hear about talk like and talk like a phone. Alright, we're live. I ain't getting no vibe in here tonight. I'm gonna take it to Facebook. I come back with y'all around rock and stop. Cause y'all killing my vibe. And I got pulled like a hamstring. I'm just doing my one-two. In other words, that I want to. Always plotting my next move. All the roar like Sun Tzu. I feel amazing. Even though I'm running out of my patience, I got you in the days and ways and hates. Either that or no. I'm in the majors. Try like a razor, but if you know what the game is, you want to get the game. Just want to be famous. I'm just flipping through the pages. Bring my new flag. Dallas home, not Jersey home, and I need my new back. I told about the time he touched down, man. We be on the map. But in the meantime, in between time, we gon' get these racks. And that's way beyond the fact. Bang roll, bang roll, big money don't fall. Two bands on the stacks, yeah, I get it like that. Count it up, count it up. Boy, I'm finna run it up. You don't need to pay me, homie, better give it up. Bang roll, bang roll, big money don't fall. Strip club with them racks, they get ready, get it back. Count it up, count it up. Get the ball, flip it up. You don't need to pay me, get the ticket, lift it up. Break bread with the team, crack seals on the lane. Party packs and the beans, go, go, get queen. Money is mom, flow sicker than a bone. Watch baby coach, trying to creep for the shoulder. Bang roll, bang roll. Gotta keep it going. Alright, and we live. OG show Sunday night, you know how we do. How's everybody feeling tonight? Give me some feedback. Got my man. C Mizzle on the building with me. C Man Mizzle. You know what it is? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you already know who it is. You already know who it is. <laughs> the magic man with the magic hands. We're going to talk, um, we'll talk with C-Mac. We're 
we gonna, we gonna stay live on Facebook through the uh, CMAC conversation. You know what I mean? Keep it local. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you're thinking, man. We rocking out like this. We got bankroll in the background right now. That's how we rocking. OG show. How much time we got left? 45 seconds. All right. So we got a couple more minutes. Who else in the building with Jesse tonight? Jesse, shout out for the video work every week, man. You came in on the on the wire, man. We appreciate you, brother. As always. We about to go live right now. Anybody got any feedback, any opinions, any questions, any shout outs? Let me know. Giving away tickets to the comedy show. Two tickets. Who won them? I think we need to uh, throw some flex bombs on them. <laughs> I got you, I yeah. got you, I got you. See, Mag, how we feeling tonight on the OG show? Everything Urban, Live 97.5. Sensational. Sensational, Future, future boys. That's <laughs> what's up, man. Yo, that, that track's crazy, man. Yeah, man. And uh, it, it's definitely, it, it's C Mag vibe to the fullest. Yeah, man. That's a, I try to keep it authentic, keep it genuine, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do me. You no doubt, saying? man. No I've doubt, doing, man. I've been doing that. Well, speaking of uh, doing you, how's everything going in your life, man? I feel I'm in a good space. I think everything's amazing. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm making some of the best music that I done made. No uh, doubt, no doubt. Driving out with some of the best people that I've ever surrounded myself with. For sure, man. And, and you know, your, your team's riding a, a wave right now. Yeah, you know? buys everything. Bro. Yeah, we've had Stizzy Stacks in the building. Yeah, bro, Stizzy got everything on fire right so now. We went through the whole mix. Uh, uh, shout out to... Uh, Mizzle, I mean, uh, Stizzy, Stizzy for yeah. making that happen, man. Yeah, we rocked the whole tape, man. We cut the whole jump. And you already know, hey, yeah. when, hey, when Mizzle come back with the whole jump, we're going to run through the whole jump for him, it. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want everything. Yeah, man. We're going to run the whole jump like, yeah, like we did the Drake. Hey, listen. This is the only place you can get it where we run through the whole mixtape live, you heard? Show, showing love to them local artists, man. And, you know, we, we our goal here at the OG Show is, is to bring the vets through, man. And, and C-Mac, you definitely one of the vets, bro. Yeah. Uh, we've gone back a long time. You definitely yeah. rocked many shows <laughs> yeah, for yeah. me. We, we, yeah. I mean, yeah, we my first back. album, Party at the Homies. Yeah, yo, for real, we do, man. It's crazy, like, you know what I mean, just the time that we just spent. Uh, Skeet being one of the first, not, not one of the first DJ to ever play my music on the radio ever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy to see it come full circle. Wow, that's some dope history. I didn't yeah, even know that. Yeah, yeah. That's we, a fact. We got history, man. It, hey, we bros for life. That's a know? fact. I mean, you know, we both got busy schedules. We ain't gonna sit together all the time, but hey. Man, we done yeah. did, did made some history. <laughs> me, sure. Skeet, me, Skeet, and Scooty, man, we made a lot of history. Man. Yeah, man. Well, and, and, and every time, you know, the team links up, it's always love, man. We, we extended family around here on the shore. So that's what it is, man. Well, tell me uh, a little bit about what's going on with uh, the, the next project. You got some music in the work. What's yeah, going man, on? I got a, uh, I'm working on a project. I actually, I've really, we've really been refraining from talking about it, but me and Stizzy have a project that's done together. You know what I mean? We got a joint whoa, project. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run that back. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, you yeah, say yeah. that again for me? Yeah, me, oh, and Stizzy, man. me and Stizzy got a joint project together that we got. It's done. It's just... Just the time, and just finding the time. Wow. I got a lot of new music. Me and Scooty been working. Um, man, just focusing on, on on this upcoming show that we got, and just trying to push, man. Just trying to make something out of nothing. So, so we're talking about the upcoming show. Uh, we're talking about Block Stock, yeah. April twenty second, correct? Yeah, the biggest the biggest show gonna be on, going on around here. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, that's at headquarters live. Uh, you know, I always like my shameless plugs. Uh, and 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 headlining will be Stizzy. But, you know, uh, it's all love when it's the team. And I would say co-headliner C-Mac in hey, the building. That's a fact, man. We in the building, man. It's going to be Lem Buys everything that night. Pushing the Lem Buys big stage for show. Straight Lem Buys jerseyed out and everything. Wow. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's wow. That's big. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, we've got Live 97.5 in the building. And, uh, you know, my man, my go-to for... Every event that I have, yes, Mr. Ski sir, Boogie beating down your block. I appreciate you, brother. No doubt, man. Yeah, this, <laughs> man you know how many shows, I'm sorry, cut you, you know how many shows me and Ski done rock together, dog? Yeah. Like, no just sitting here brother. thinking about it, like, yo, <laughs> it's crazy, though. No doubt. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, hey, I, one of my favorite ones, uh, it, was, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Actually, I was in the crew. The whole, shot the whole to the whole side group. Yeah, the whole group shout out to Fida. Yeah, Zeus, 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 man. Yeah. Man, all of them. Uh, 
Look, man, we was, we was back in Club Envy in Cambridge. Yeah. You know, that was one of the classes. That it's, it's, if you're on our Facebook page, you can, I still got the picture yeah, up I'm there. Envy Evie, Evie was our spot. Yeah, Evie. definitely <laughs> was, <laughs> man. New city, man. Boy, I tell you, you go that joint lit, boy. We ride that joint. Hey, we, we just put it down. A lot, of, a lot of drunken nights out in Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, 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 and for real, you can take it back to Gully's days. Facts. Gully's? Man. I remember, I remember your birthday party at Gully's. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my 25th, man. That was the craziest for real, man. Yo. The performance, man, the crowd, like, that joint was sold out, at, I'm sorry, sold out at 10, 15, man. Man, it was people jumping over the fence. Jumping over the fence, you know, oh, my God, performance, man. Woo! We shut Tell it down. Me, we, shut, we, we shut, shut the city down. down that night. Yeah, the energy. The, 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 I was actually uh, flying on the wall that night, and that that energy hey. was definitely crazy. Hey, I had a hard time getting in. Real hey, talk. hey, hey, just a sneak peek, man. November, you know, hey, November is going down again. So, hey, hey, miserable. Hey, look, we gonna work something we'll out. Make, you heard? We'll make a this cool year is going down the thirty yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. That's all. I'll be the big three too. So, hey, we'll oh, talk I about you. You said the thirty second of November. I was gonna say you're a bugger. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and the politics <laughs> shut you down for your last birthday. So we gotta come yeah, back harder than ever. Coming back strong, ladies and gentlemen. So y'all just stay. Tuned. Though, you heard? No doubt, no doubt. So, Mizzle, uh, let's get into you know future. You, you're talking about future projects. You're yeah. talking about future things. But w- what is the strategy for an artist going into a project? I mean, you 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 are always calculated with crafting your art. Uh, what kind of recommendation you say when it comes to building your your brand and your projects? Man, I always say, I always say, for me personally, I always say that the music has to come first. Yeah. Before before you can start formulating anything, you got, the music has to come first. So 100. when it when when it comes to making and, and producing the music, I think that you know what I mean, giving your all and being genuinely yourself. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and, and doing what come from the heart will work for you. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the first step before anything else. And, and, and again, speaking from experience, you know. Um, I've seen you locked in overnights yeah, in the yeah. studio. I've, I've come in in the morning times, that, you know, and you've been like, man, I've been here all night. Real, real talk. And that kind of dedication is is rare uh, when it comes to artists. Artists fall off too no, fast. I, I think that, I mean, I think that that comes from, at the end of the day, I'm a person about self-accountability, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. A- the passion that you put into it is what you're gonna get out. You're not, you're never gonna get out what you don't put in. You know That's what I mean? dope. So I, I just think that if, if you're gonna be about this craft and you're gonna be about this art, be passionate, be meaningful, be honest, be genuine. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Everything else will fall into place. Drill talk from a true OG. For real, yeah, for real, for real. You know, people think that it's everything else. You know, I, I see a lot of artists. Everybody's like, oh, the politics. Ain't no politics. There's no politics in this. I didn't become C Mac through politics. Right. I can't. I became C Mac through working hard, being honest. You feel what I'm saying, and, and doing it with love. Real talk. And you, you've always uh, had olive branches throughout the rap game, and that's that's rare for artists to, you know. Uh, avoid beefs or confrontations, so you know that that. Because don't know. Oh, oh, let me stop inside. We gonna get real arrogant for a second. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that. I don't think nobody ever wanted to be on the other side of that with me. No doubt. Pause. One hundred percent. Anybody listen? And and we, so we 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 were having a conversation. It's a major announcement, so I, I don't want to I don't want to splash it just on the show, just haphazardly. But uh, you took a break from uh, battle rapping, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, that was something that just wasn't you was what? I think battle, battle like battling is like to me battling was something that I like, but it was never something that I love. You know what I mean? When we started the KBL, my brother Plat Free Plat. Um, when we had came up with the idea of what we wanted to do and have a platform for battle rappers to really get out there and get their grind on, you know what I mean? Um, I wanted to be there to help, you know what I mean? First couple events that we had, it was dope, but we was trying to build it up. So we was like, man, Mac, you got a battle to push it over the top. And I've never been afraid of no challenge or nothing like that. So I've been on that stage, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no Ain't doubt. nobody exempt because I done got on the stage. And, then, and you know what I'm saying? And people know what I do when I get on the stage. But it just wasn't nothing that I ever loved. But I don't want nobody to ever get it twisted and think that if I ever had to get on the stage again, that it was going to be some type of cakewalk. Yeah, and I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that if you wanted to take the battle thing serious, it wouldn't really, going back to the beefing part of it, there really ain't no competition. Battle, I'm beefing, don't matter. The other side of these bars, man. <laughs> I heard that, man. <laughs> well, speaking of bars, we're going to get into the next track. Um, and this one's produced by Scooty J. Oh, man, this joint is produced by my brother Scooty. This was my Super single. producer Scooty yeah, J. Oh, my last project, just because it's Wednesday. Um, this joint is just friends. This is probably in the studio, even though we was working on more and more records, I think we kind of knew that this was our favorite record off this joint. No doubt, no doubt. So we're going to get to that in a second. But uh, before we go to the break, I definitely want to give a drop. Uh, every Each and every week, we, uh, we link up with Bliss Nightclub and 97.5 to uh, give away two tickets 
to uh, Bliss Saturdays. And this week we got uh, Fetty Wap. It's the Aries Birthday Bash, uh, Saturday, April 8th. All you got to do is show up to Deadstock uh, the morning after, which is Monday, tomorrow at 12 o'clock. The first two people that uh, show up and say they heard us on the OG show and they're looking for Fetty Wap tickets will get uh, entered and, and you get two passes to go out and check out uh, Fetty Wap this week at uh, Bliss Saturdays. So we're going to rock it like that. Ski, you ready to go into the next one? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. Ready to get that zone popping for show, man. So, so this is C-Max, Just Friends, produced by Scooty J. Only on Live, 97.5, you heard. the Let's OG go. Show. Hawk, oh, what's up, brother? How you feeling tonight? George, appreciate it, brother. Thank you for the feedback, man. That's the only one I got, yo. Ah! How many words you? Nah, I don't say. I say I don't say crack city in the clean Ah! Yo, how many? How many times do you? Uh... Man, that book is a curse word. Ooh! Say that out, bro. Yeah, hold, on, hold 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 on, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, hold on, you can go race the rock, uh, the rock and style, yeah, I got you, I'm about the curse, like literally. Ah! Come on. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Man, that's like... <laughs> Yo, that's the only one I had, though. Oh, man. Because I... Cause I you played it, that's why I thought you right. played it on your mixes before. That's why I thought that. And I was... probably had cleaned it a while ago. Like the one, like I cleaned it Live 97.5, the, the OG show. That was Just Friends by C Mac. It was. Just and that's a dope track right there. Yeah, that's a, that was a single off my last project. Just because it's Wednesday, produced by my brother Scooby J. No doubt. And drop a link for that online when you're done, yeah, so everybody yeah, can check yeah, out yeah, the full yeah. track. Yeah, for sure. uh, we realized into it that uh, there might have been some uh, technical difficulties, so uh, we pulled out. <laughs> 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 shout, out shout out to Stizzy for, I mean, uh, Skeet for free you. Man, for being Skeet Boogie. He was on the, he was uh, on the cover. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. But let's get into the Rocket Stock segment this week, man. Um, big thing, big, big, big thing this week was the Calls Fours. Uh, the Jordan Calls Fours. Calls is a brand. Uh, they're, they're an Asia brand uh, that incorporates Mickey Mouse and, and the, the Mickey Mouse gloves into their vibe. And it's an all suede shoe. And uh, y'all y'all had a chance to peep it on the bottom. It's got the glow uh, with the hands. But the thing about it was uh, the, the problem that they were having this week is that uh, Major retailers, yeah. I won't say any names because I, you know, I'm a store owner. I don't want no bad blood. There ain't no beef when it comes to sneaker game either. You know what I mean? I try to keep it cool with everybody. They were back doing shoes, mm -hmm. and they were selling them for fifteen hundred a pop. The retail on them was three fifty. So the big issue at hand was the the price on top of what the resale, the backdoor resale value was, got inflated. So you're talking about a three thousand dollar shoe. So it brings up the topic. It goes back to. Uh, did the Yeezy jump over the jump man? Did, did, is, is this a, a, a situation where retailers uh, jumped the gun and should, did something they shouldn't have? Or was it, you know, a situation where uh, really, you know, jump man showing his dominance again in the game? Um, I, think, I think a little of both. I think that it, it just goes to show just um, the risk that retailers run, you know what I mean? Just yeah. the people they employ and stuff like that. And yeah. also that Yeezy has a long way to go before he can get anywhere close to jumping over the jump man. Like you know what I mean? Like Jordan has selection over Yeezy. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. There's only there's only what two sets of, there's only two designs in the new Yeezy. Well, and see the volume, um, you know, yes, there, there's definitely a selection uh, difference because you can pretty much drop any colorway, any style, and, and the branding, the co-branding thing only elevates the Jordan brand. But at the same time, the production quantity, 
You know, yeah. Adidas can only produce so much shoes yeah. as opposed to, yeah. you know, Yeezy, Jordan. Yeezy selling 300,000 out of 300,000, yeah. while Jordan's selling 500,000 out of 70, you know what I mean, 750,000. Yeah. And see, I mean? and see I, I, I saw a note last week that um, the Space Jam is Jordan's most popular selling shoe, the one that just dropped yeah. at Christmas time this year. You know, they drop an 11 every year and they always sell out. Yeah. But this one, probably, you know, it, it, Probably because of production, I would say that it's the most popular yeah. shoe, most sold shoe it, ever. Yeah. It's the most notable out of all the out of all the Elevens, the Jammies. Everybody, you know what I mean? No doubt. I think that they probably plot when well, they probably plotting the next time they're gonna drop the Jammies, and you know what I mean, six, seven years from now. Yeah, you know for I mean? sure. Because they, they they actually can tangibly do those types of numbers because they know what they're gonna do. Well, and 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 the Jumpman team, the the the, the creative process that goes behind it is just unbelievable. I mean, yeah. it's just on another level. So. Uh, I, I would say no. Uh, Yeezy has not jumped over the jump, man. Nah. And uh, Adidas, although they they are jumping right now, they've got a ways to go before they can uh, solidify yeah. themselves as you know uh, a major major force or or jumping over Nike because yeah. it's not Yeezy and Jumpman at the end of the day. It's Nike versus Adidas. Adidas. That's so. All right, moving on. Uh, we've got the uh, the Royal Ones just dropped last weekend. We talked about them on the show with my man Feeb. Um, and and, and Sco um, Skeet uh, actually has the, the gray and blacks that he was talking about on feet today. Yep, you already know. That first rocking thing I peeped. Jones, man, rocking them Jones. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Uh, yeah, what'd you man. think about them? I like them. I like them. Them joints is fire. I mean, like the ones is like such a classic design, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a, man. Well, and, and furthermore, you know, the, the Royals being, uh, it, it's either the breads or the Royals. Yeah, black and said, blue, yeah, yeah, black yeah, and blue, yeah. or red and black, you know what yeah. I mean? So. Um, definitely. One, one design they had a couple months ago, like the kind of half and half, or you know, where it was like one sneaker had the blue back and the mm -hmm. other sneaker had the black. I mean, the red on the back. Like, mm -hmm. this is fire. Yeah, and um, you know, I, I I actually had to get out there about four o'clock in the morning. Usually, I you know, being uh, having the connections on the shore and not having a whole lot of competition, it's not very hard for me to uh, lock my pairs in come Saturday. But uh, you know, I, I had to get out there like old times oh, and yeah. sit out in the cold, yeah. man. I was out there watching the sunrise, you know what I mean? But that's what you you know, uh, true dedicated uh, OG sneakerheads are gonna uh, make that push. You know, I'm standing out there talking to a guy 45 years old and he's been collecting for years. He you know he could. He gonna wait for the Royals to drop. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, all right, moving on to the. Uh, we're, we're gonna actually s j get away from the Jump Man this week. A uh, couple other releases that are coming out next week. You got the Paul George um, Ivories, and uh, man, I, I tell you, for the price, uh, one ten retail on them. And I showed you a picture of them, yeah, Skeet. I showed you a picture as well. Yeah. Um, the Python and that leather mix on them for a hundred and ten dollars. You can't beat it. No. What you think? You rocking or stocking? I'm rocking them jumps. What you think, Skeet? Rocking. No doubt, man. Rocking. And, uh, and and I really think Paul George has got something with this one. I mean, when when they dropped, they sold out, and uh, you know, again, that that price point of one hundred and ten. I mean, that, that Python is is premium quality, and you know, something like that for Jordan, you're gonna you're gonna get two twenty out of them. You know what I mean? Pay for that for sure. And uh, yeah, I, I I would I would also concur that that was that is definitely a definitely a keeper, man. So. Uh, shout out to Paul George for doing his thing. He's yeah. a, he's a beast in the league anyway. He's cooking. Yeah, no doubt. So you know, I, I, let's talk about uh, finals real quick. Uh, just jumping topics before we get back to the shoes. Uh, who we got this weekend, man? You know, you know it's uh, Zaga and what do we got? Oregon in the finals now. Mm -hmm. So I mean, two underdogs. They they they're, they're on the biggest level in college basketball. Who you got? I'm going with Oregon. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not a big basketball <laughs> fan like that. Like as far as college, you know. So I can't I, really give. I ain't no super. Yeah, I ain't no super sports analyst either. My my reason for picking Oregon is kind of petty because they be having their own Jordan. So I like Oregon. Sheesh. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> I mean, you know, for, come on, these gonna be fresh. Oregon is uh, is definitely in Nike town for sure, and uh, you, you, it, to be in that area just by uh, default, they they've got the they hottest. Be, and yo, the they be having the craziest. Crazy. Well, the Oregon collection in general. I mean, yeah. they, you know, anything that comes out from Jordan, like the pit crew threes, the black cements. Uh, uh, the foam positive yeah. ones, you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, it, 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 the Oregon brand itself, it, it carries its own weight. So, uh, shout out to the Oregon team. I, I'm definitely uh, going with Oregon, but yeah, 
Gonzaga, them boys are bad. I mean, they've just the 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 quality of their team. It's selfless. It's it, it, they share the ball. I think it's dope, you know. And they definitely play real basketball. It's basketball. really a good look for college basketball. So shout out to them. And then uh, on the women's side, uh, South Carolina pulled a major upset. Uh, 111 game winning streak UConn was on. Was they got beat. Yeah. That hurt. I know that hurt a lot of hearts, man. I was sad to see them lose. Well, I seen I seen the odds. The Vegas odds were like $900 to win $100. So that's how much of a juggernaut UConn's been in the game since. You know what I mean? I think that they they they're not used to. They wasn't used to being a lot of the games that close. Like all up leading to this. Like they was beating teams by like. 20 or better on the regular. What, 100%. I know like, they ain't in the pond of Fortnite when they lost the first game, but uh, I got to shout out to my cousin Shakima the Shield, man. Straight from Mardella, playing Division One, Robert Morris. They, they play Notre Dame wow. out the gate. And I tell you what, it just goes to show you how the levels of, of college basketball is. You know, they, they won the Northeast East Conference or whatever, but they had to go to Notre Dame for them, you know, to get to the yeah. bracket, man. Notre Dame. You go to the score, though? Yo, they be balling. It's, 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 yo, it's all kinds of levels. Is what I'm saying. Oh, hold on, hold on. Scratch this whole conversation we just had because uh, Stizzy Stacks is on Facebook Live. We're on Facebook Live right now. Uh, we uh, were absolutely wrong on the OG show. It is UNC and Zaga in the finals. So uh, shout out to A and D for having us have a point <laughs> long conversation, and shout out to me for entertaining it, and shout out to one for being outside the door left. Well, we had a good conversation about the Oregon Brandon. Hey, when that was an I was talking about, in my own defense, oh, I only man. picked them on based upon sneakers. We go on UNC. <laughs> Thanks, bud. We, we we caught it before you gave it to us, oh, man. man. You yeah. know what though? Hey, that's that's all of being alive, man. We you know we have, we have a good time. Hey, we keep it keep it rocking though. Hey, yeah, and Stizzy said. I mean, uh, Stizzy said he said I texted C Mac and he didn't read it. See, I'm trying to stay off the phone when I'm on the air. That's crazy. See, I should have checked my phone. Bro. Oh man, big big flag on the field for the OG show tonight. But uh, yeah, UNC uh, Zaga. I, I still got UNC over Zaga either way. I, I mean, Zaga's got a strong team, but you know, UNC is definitely. Uh, uh, as high of a caliber of team. And bro, yeah, shout out to bro for being a real one for trying to hold me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to <laughs> this tax, man. Tuning in for sure. And uh, yeah, so uh, the last piece of Rocker Stock, we got the uh, Kobe ADs, the city of Compton's at 160. You rocking or you stocking? Rocking. Rocking. Them joints is crazy. Ski? Yeah, I seen them. Yeah, with, rock, the, with, the, rock, with the city of Compton rock, design man. in them and all that. Yeah, yeah. just is crazy. And, and, and you know what? The the thought process that went into them, I, I think, is super dope. Uh, from the insoles to the uh, concrete, you know, print on the outside. Uh, Kobe definitely did a good, uh, yeah. good justice and good ode to the uh, city of Compton by doing that for sure. Yeah. So, all right, man. That's uh, that's your rock of stock segment this week. We're gonna roll into the uh, Mary J. Featuring Kanye, Love Yourself track. Yeah, man, this is on this tough, man. This Ski Boogie exclusive. Yeah, she tough, man. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rock that joint. 97.5, baby, stay tuned. Mic's on. Live 97.5, the OG show. I kind of talking rap like I'm waiting for the beat to drop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, nah, real talk. You already know what it is. You know what time it is. It's the beat now, your block report. You know what I mean? Uh, Starting off, let's see what we got. We got, we got. Now nah, for real, let me stop playing. Comedy's Most Wanted, Armed and Dangerous, Hilarious Tour, going there on Friday, April 22nd, 2017, at 7.30 p.m. Get your tickets at the Wild Comical Youth and Civic Center. That's where it's going down at, ladies and gentlemen. Comedy's Most Wanted, Armed and Dangerous, Hilarious Tour. We got J.J. Williamson, Lavelle Crawford, Dominique, Corey Hol Holcomb, and D.C. Youngfly. Also along with D.J. Tracy, still on the ones and twos, you heard? And check this out. Complimentary of Live 97.5 and the OG show, we're giving away two tickets. All you got to do is call in 410-548-9750. Hey. We're giving away two tickets. Y'all better call in. Y'all want the tickets bad enough, man? Y'all already know what to do. Hit them one more time with that with the info, uh, Andy. It's 410-548-9750. Y'all better come and get them tickets. That's all I got to say. DC come Young Fly, he's the Let's man. Let's go. DC Young Fly is that boy. He's man. hilarious. Funny for real, man. Yeah. I like son. He's a young, uh, what's it, what was Friday? What was his name? Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Yes, sir. Uh oh, shout out to the OG. Shout out to Vibe Slide in the building right now. 
in the building. Yeah, yeah. here vibing out with us on a Sunday. Oh man, all right. On Let's to get to the beating down your block. All right, hey, on to the next situation. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and talk about that Kendrick Lamar real quick. The humble John, man. Well, we just played. We just played four. Right. You know, some things you know we can't get clean right away. So you know what I mean? But either way, if y'all heard the humble track, man, fire, it's crazy, fire. Humble record is crazy. Fire. Well, and, and, and breaking down the parts of what the song is, you know, on, on four, he's definitely taking some, you know, verbal sparring. He's coming direct, but he's coming indirect at the same time. I just, I don't know, for me, I just like the, I just like the direction that he's taking with the sound. Like, you know, I think with the Pimple Butterfly, I think that the, just the incorporation of just the jazz and it was kind of off-putting to the, to the, you know what I mean, average listener. But I, I like what he's doing with this, you know what I mean? Got on a Mike Will joint, you know what I mean? He went crazy. And I mean, you know, uh, he definitely made it pretty clear who he was talking to on this I one for sure. I don't think he did. I don't think he made it, but he didn't make it clear enough to me. Well, he said he hit him with the left on the first one. Hey, who, he did it by saying that. That bar to me means that he's talking about the same person. But who that person is, is yet to be determined. I mean, people who online believe that it's Sean, but... Mm. And now, now to be clear, you know we're, we're a radio show, and we're, we're supposed to be talking about uh, uh, these type of topics. You know, we're, we're talking about Big Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that he's talking about. I, I mean, that's what the internet believes that he's talking about Big Sean. But I mean, it's yet to be determined. And I just, <laughs> me personally, I don't like this. I don't like this complex that we have in hip hop. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think that Kendrick is an incredible writer. He's an incredible rapper. I think that what he's doing is is, is dope. So, so identify that. What what is the complex? I think that in in hip hop we had this complex of like, Drake or Nicki can do a record in which they don't say anyone's name or be direct, and it's weak for that premise. People will say like, oh that's weak if it's not directed. But then Kendrick or Jay Z per se can do the same thing, and it's the most incredible thing in hip hop. Like I don't I don't understand I don't understand um, hip hop culture's disdain with. Winners. So, so it's a disconnection. There's yeah, really know, a double I, standard yeah, at the end of the day. Like if, if one person can do it and it's and, it, and it's cool, and then another person can do it and it's whack. I just think that <clears throat> we have a, a, a underdog complex in hip hop because I feel like that's what hip hop is based in. Just you know, what I mean, just the underdogness of, of coming from the bottom, and you know what I mean. But once when people reach, we all want to reach the top or the pinnacle of whatever we're in. And then when we reach there. And it's just like people just want to see you fall, and I just think that that's crazy. You know what I mean? Well, and and, and I mean, you know, it, everybody strives to get to that top spot, and then you become everybody's favorite enemy. Yeah, you know? it, it's crazy to me. I like to see winners win. That's yeah. just That's just how my mind works. So You know what I mean? I like to see winners win. So that's what I stay at it in debates online with people about, you know what I mean, Drake New Project or some new, main, more mainstream hip-hop. You know what yeah. I mean? When people ask me what kind of hip-hop I like, when people talk about like you know some people like trap music, some people like you know what I mean. I like mainstream music, mainstream yeah. music. I like the music that moves the people. I want to see the. I like the music that's on the charts. I like the music that the people is chanting at their shows. So people stare at me because you know what I mean. My friends make fun of me because I listen to Lil Yachty religiously. I think that Yachty is, is the goat. Ah. I want to put that on there. I want to put that on there. <laughs> no, 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 not the goat. I, 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 I think that nah, so I think that yeah, I think that I, but I think that Yachty is dope for what yeah. I see. I judge music on its own pretenses on what. I'm not expecting Yachty to come on a record and give me the illest 16. Of, you know what I mean? Well, and I'm gonna tell you, I I, I seen um I seen Yachty uh, do the freestyle with Ebro. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The first one was a epic fail. And they roasted him on yeah. IG and social media across the board. But then uh, he came back a second time. Yeah. And you know what? I didn't like it. You didn't he, like the freestyle? No, I don't, like, don't want to see Yachty do that. That's not what I want to listen to Lil Yachty for. I want Yachty to do what Yachty does. I yeah. want Uzi to do what Uzi does. Yeah. To try to, when Ebro brought Uzi up and was like, I'm going to make you rap on these preen beats. You're a fool for even asking him that. Right. He's not a fool because he can't do that. You like, you know what I mean? You have to look at yourself. Like, why would I? I've listened to Lil Uzi's whole catalog. You know what? I want him to rap on a print beat. One hundred percent. You sound man. crazy. <laughs> you well, sound crazy. And, and you know, I I I don't think I liked uh, Yachty's uh, verse as much as I liked his approach to the conversation he was having with you, bro. Yeah. He took a very um, mature approach in a game that seems to be very sensitive and very over feminized when it comes to talking trash that, that and is crazy it, it's feelings. like just this, this place that, that, that hip hop and where we make it's like we have these rules and we choose we pick and choose where yeah. the rules apply you know what i mean yeah. like they don't apply 
to other artists, but they apply. I don't. I ain't never seen nobody make Young Jeezy freestyle on the radio. Right. I ain't never seen that. I've never seen nobody make Rick Ross freestyle on the radio. Yeah. Why? Because their music is street, or you know, I don't understand the complex between why they want to want want them to do that. And I, I, Rick Ross was a bad example because Rick Ross can rap. I don't want to take that away from him. But yeah. I'm saying, like, you know, artists like Lil Yacht, you have to interpret these artists in their own space, in their own how they approach the music. You know well, what I mean? And, and that's really the concept of what the OG show is in the first place. Uh, you know, because what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to set a bar, and you know that establishes it without having a conversation. It's nonverbal. It's it's yo. We're gonna touch the veterans that's been doing it for a while, and the young dudes have an opportunity to display their talent to the point where you know what you're, you're you can be a part of this. You know what I mean? It, it, automatically, when it comes to Eastern Shore hip hop, anybody that drops a track is in the hip hop mix. Yeah. Now imagine now okay now imagine this right. To be fair, now this is where people don't have honest conversation. Imagine. If we lyrically judged every rapper that comes out of the Eastern Shore, to me, yeah, they don't be true. A lot of, I'm gonna say all, a lot of the, you know, more than 85 percent of them would be trash. 100. But we can't do that. We have to judge them on their own pretenses of how they make their music. I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna name nobody just because I don't want nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when I'm not gonna judge a certain artist who makes this style of music to the lyrical ability that Mac has shown or Stizzy has shown, or I'm not gonna nah. judge anybody it, or, on the premise of how how conceptual they are to Devin Beck. That would be unfair to that artist, you yeah. understand what I'm saying? And I, I I can make music, I've made music with all types of artists, like, you know what I mean? I just I just did a record, shout out to uh, Pariah, I just, shout out, I just did a record with my homie High Q, which is gonna go crazy when it comes out, like, you feel what I'm saying? And, and, and to break it down into the points of what it is, you know, stay in your own lane, yeah, nice. be humble. Don't don't think you're better than the next person. Just do you, and you'll get noticed off of doing you, and not necessarily having to prove yourself outside the box. Because that's all I've ever done. You know what I mean? And 100%. I try to prove that. To, I, not prove that, but I try to let people know that the lyrical ability and the skill that I show and display. Yeah. That's just one aspect of what I do. But I did that to a degree that got me noticed. Do yeah. what you do. To the best degree that you can do it, you know what I mean, and, and the same thing. Well, and, to you. And, and, and check this out. This segues perfectly into our last conversation piece. Um, please, uh, C Mac, uh, identify who this young man's <laughs> so, name is because we can't get it right. Tentacion. Tent ten <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, you know, Yo, Max help on this. That's one. corny, but yeah, go ahead. Go on, <laughs> go on. Go on C. Need something, but I don't, I don't remember what he said. Man. Oh man, it, it, all right, it really boils down to man. Let's see, all set, last set. XX Tentacions. Claim that Drake bitches flow. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> see the name is just so. So to give give a little headline of what the story is all about, this Triple X Tentacion got out of uh, lockup. He did six months, so that's that's real hard time. He, he must have thought he was real gangster I mean, he, coming he, he, out. Nah, he was he was facing life though. He, he was facing, he was facing some real time. Yeah, okay. robbery and some other stuff. Cool. Like well, he he hops out and he goes at one of the you know I, I would say least gangster rappers in the game, uh, Drake, and he says that Drake bitches flow. Yeah. I mean, the fans have picked up on him when he when he's played the KMT record at a show in Amsterdam and really was trying to, you know what I mean? He has a record called, uh, wow, it's crazy, I don't even remember the name of it. But yeah, he has a record where he has a similar cadence and style. But my issue with that is, bro, it's not even your style. If you listen to the record, it's all oh, the record's called Look At Me. If, the, if you listen to the record, you sound like Uzi. You sound like Playboy Cardi. Like, and, and hold on, so if Drake's grabbing your style, that should be an ode to what, you know, that should really be a big up to you because Drake steps into every and, style. And a lot of people, and a lot of people give him flack for this, but I say, when if Drake is to remix your record or use a style that you're known for, that creates a platform for you to do what you need to do. 100%. People be like, oh, well, he stole this, he stole that. He rapped like the Migos. The Migos didn't stop. The Migos did what the Migos were supposed to do, okay, and, and then they took off. Drake gets on uh, McConan's record. McConan doesn't do the same thing. That's not Drake's fault. Drake even signed him. He didn't even sign these other artists. You yeah, know what I mean? crazy for real. He signed them and gave him a platform and an opportunity to do what he's supposed to do, and he didn't. That's not Drake's fault. That's no, not his fault. Not at all. You know what I mean? And that's a that's a nod to X's X's style and his movement of what he got going on because he got a sturdy fan base on Twitter. You know what I mean? No doubt. So that's a nod to him. If if he can't use that. And do what he's supposed to do from there. That's not on Drake, and you know what I mean. That ain't on. That's not on nobody but himself. No doubt, I mean? no doubt. Well, yeah, man. That's uh, that's the beating down the block report this week, right? Yeah, for this week, man. No doubt. Well, I mean, before we go to break, um, real quick, uh, Fetty Wap this weekend, Bliss Saturdays, we partner up with Live 97.5 and the OG Show. 
to give away two tickets to uh, Bliss Saturdays in D.C. Uh, this week, Fetty Wap's going to be in the building. Uh, definitely don't want to miss this event. It's going to be crazy. All you got to do is show up to Deadstock uh, Monday morning, 12 o'clock. The first two people there, whether we give away two tickets or one individual ticket to two different people, you can show up to the store and uh, you get entered to uh, be a part of it. All you got to do is be 21 and have a valid ID. Man, y'all can't beat that, man. The OG, OG show. show. Be on the OG show. And, and what? Not to mention giving away comedy what? tickets this week. All you got to do is oh, call man. in. Hold up, Andy. Hold up, hold up. You heard that. You heard that. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey, real quick, speaking to little Yachty, like Mac was saying and everything, I definitely understand where Mac coming from on that note, you know. Like, as a DJ, man, like, I look at it like this, okay? Like, we can't stay stuck in time forever. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, and hip-hop grow, hip grows. It, it grows, grows it's in a, so many different it, ways. Hip-hop lives, man. Yeah. And so, so anything that lives is going to grow. It's change. wild, man. Only thing I can't agree with is, is just the, the the whole and I you need to judge everybody with the whole hair color, you know. That, otherwise, than that though, I can you know, I can get the nose with, rings. Yeah, and all that. I can get down. Bro, bro, ten years ago we was wearing four X T shirts, brother. <laughs> Word. Franchise. Franchise boy. In my white We were wearing vibes jeans. We were wearing vibes jeans. I was shopping at street stuff religiously. Word. Like, on, Back bro. in high school. And man. with that being said, you know, uh, we were talking about before we got on air tonight. Um, this this track we're about to drop next, Lil Uzi Vert. What's the title on the track again? What is it? XL um, Tour Life. XL, XL Tour, Tour Life. Life. And, and, you know, uh, Ron actually uh, had this conversation coming in. He's like, Andy, do you think this is for radio or do you think it's not for radio? And my con my, my conversation was, you know, you did, you did, Lil Wayne did Lollipop. And that, yeah. you know, that obviously is uh, directed towards something very specific. So, you know, uh, if, if we're not going to have kids listening to, you know, the comp topic on XO uh, is suicide. Yeah, and that's a that's a pretty deep topic. But, but I, I you mean, know. I, I think that it could be interpreted a lot of different ways. Like I said, I feel like it was just a nod to him entering a new level in his career and his life, and just leaving the people from the past where they are. You know what I mean? But it could be interpreted the other way. But I mean, I don't think that the messages that the children um, interpret are the same way that we as adults and parents and, and parents interpret them. Well, let's get into it, man. Uh, Lil Uzi Burt, XO. There we go. Let's go. OG show. 